Hello, hello, welcome back to this game, Duskwood. Continuing this story. Group chat. Let's see what you got. So we have a date for the search. Sunday at 2 p.m., Miranda was just here putting up flyers. Now, who on earth is Miranda? I don't know what this is all about. Oh my bad. Okay, who would like to fill cell in? Um, Richie, would you mind? Just tell me, straight to the point. Oh, come on. Oh, <laughs> Dan isn't happy about this. Don't say anything. Really? He went offline after that? Of course he didn't. Um, how can you be friends with him? Um, hey, I am back home. I am going to read the chats real quick and then I will text you after. Okay, that was weird. I guess you get used to it. Don't you have a black sheep in your circle of friends? I'd say there's no circle of friends, really. I just work here. That's all. Well, you got us now, so... Okay. The women from Duskwood's church group are organizing a thorough search of the forest. And then what, like find a body there where it's like, probably it's hidden? This has been planned for a while, but now we know the date and time. Sunday at 2 p.m. We'll meet at the parking lot in front of my shop. I don't think it's like necessary to do it. I'm sure you know the purpose of this event. Event, sorry. Um, what do you think is the chance of success? Because huh, I see 0%. You guys are stating the obvious here. I can sense that. That all depends on how many are going to show up. Duskwood's forests are huge. Even though it's huge or not, it's, it's not gonna show up. The body won't show up. I bet you. Miranda, the one who runs the women's church group, organized this. She even had flyers printed and decided to plaster my shop with them. Great, then I know what's up. It's not like I can choose the first option, right? We don't have any premium membership on that to choose it. Okay, talk to you later as well. Oh, another one. Uh, I forgot to mention something. Miranda is Cleo's mother. Gotta go for real this time. Uh, okay. Okay. Alright, back to mini games again. We will try our best to solve this as much as we can. And then I'll catch you in a little bit. Okay, so going back to Cleo's message. She said so. Hi, Cleo. It won't hurt to say hi in every beginning of the conversations. I had to clear my head first before telling you the whole story. Thomas is hiding something. <laughs> oh my gosh. Aren't you just like stating the obvious? Can you give me more details with your speculation? When I noticed that it was Thomas who was walking through the door, I immediately came out of my hiding place. He was so shocked when he saw me, you can't even imagine. Okay, so far so good.
Of course, I asked him what he was doing in Hannah's apartment. Okay. He told me that he had been to the police station and they informed him that it was in Hannah's body. Yeah, it is because like he had already hidden her body somewhere. He already disposed the evidence itself. If he was really involved. I was glad to hear that. He said that he had come to the apartment in order to search for clues. Because time was of the essence even more so than before. Hmm. Um, Cleo, didn't you do the same thing? Yeah, yeah, yes, ma'am. Yes, hold on, there is more. Can you even be, like, slower than this? <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna get sleepy of your typing. I noticed that I didn't hear a key when he entered. It is because you used it. Unless, like, you locked it and then he was able to open it. That's why I was confused, so I asked him how he got into the apartment. He smiled and said that, of course, he had a key to the place. Were they living in together before? He even made some kind of joke, something like, Did I still remember that he was her boyfriend? Um, don't keep me waiting. Just, <laughs> let's just cut to the chase, man. I'm dying to know what you want to tell me. A couple of weeks before her disappearance, Hannah told me that Thomas returned the key to her during an argument. They were arguing before she vanished? Yes, but I didn't want you to get the wrong idea about the situation. What do you mean by that? You don't know what they were arguing about before? What if she knew something and then Thomas had to, you know, do something to her? I just thought that it is impossible that Thomas is behind Hannah's disappearance. He couldn't even harm a fly. Um... I mean, I get where you're coming from. But in this case, he is the prime suspect. Had you been aware of this argument, you would not have been neutral towards Thomas. Um, if you want me to help, I need to know everything. Just spill the tea, and I will wipe the tea for ya. <laughs> oh my god. Um, hopefully this doesn't have any further consequences. I hope so too. Gosh, all of these people like type so slow. I have to tell you something else. Oh, what could it be? Thomas removed something from Hannah's apartment. What? Her body? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I couldn't see exactly what it was, but I know for sure he put something in his pocket. That's why he went to the apartment. Um... Why didn't you confront him about it if you saw it, right? Mm, maybe she was afraid that something might happen to her inside of Hannah's apartment? Why do you think? Because he lied to me about the key right before this happened. It's a terrible thing to say, but... Now, I believe that Thomas might be the one behind Hannah's disappearance. In my opinion, there are other reasons for his behavior. I even noticed something else. 
Um, he was acting weird earlier. You think? I read the I read the group chat messages from earlier, and I can't say I noticed anything. We just have to find out what it was that Thomas removed from the apartment. What can I do? What can I do? Nothing for now, but thank you. Are you following up on the clue about the man without a face with Jesse? Uh, yes I am. It's nonsensical things that they're telling me. If you don't know. I have something to do before I can take care of Thomas. And what's that? A thing between Richie and I. Nothing you have to worry about. That you guys were dating all this time? Just kidding. Oh, spy mode? Okay. Let me see. Juicy deets coming in. Last time I went running, I jumped your fence. What? What do you mean by that? Are you an expert in like stalking houses? I heard loud voices and before I knew what I was doing, I found myself on your property. That sounds like I am completely nuts. Yeah, you sound like it. Good thing you noticed. Are you sure that's not like me at all? Are you, like, on some sort of drugs <laughs> that's, like, uncontrollable? Well, if you'd like to make it up to me, I can think of something. Ah! Your world-famous pyramid cake. I am ten steps ahead of you. I cannot tell if this is, like, light flirting. Mm-hmm. I feel like... I'm interrupting something here. <laughs> Only if you're not jumping over the fence again. Okay. I won't, don't worry. Don't want to be the witness of this flirtatious axe. <sighs> that was me arguing with Paul. Okay. You said that you heard loud voices. Well, that was my father and I. You know how he is. Okay. You don't have to tell me that, Richie. Just in case you're hearing loud voices coming from the shop again. She got lost outside again because he wasn't paying attention. Is that a pet or what? Or... I'm looking forward to that cake. Huh. Alrighty, going back. Well, that was a... That was a conversation to witness. So now I have to solve three mini games to continue the story. So hopefully, I'll be able to um, do this as fast as I can. So I'll catch you guys up again. Hey, here we go, here we go. Continuing the story. Legends of Dustwood group chat. Jessie said she knows what else to do. I am 1,000% sure that the library has a book about the man without a face. A. Why haven't I thought about that earlier? Because the library is closed when you come out of work. Oh, good point. Okay. But I could make it over there during my break. 
that's gonna cut it too close. Only if you were sure exactly what book to get. So, oh, come on. What's up? Oh, no. I don't know. I urgently need your help. On what? Opinions about it? Could you check if the Duskwood Library has a book about the man without a face? Oh, come on. Or the legends in general. How should I do that? The library has a search tool that lists all of their books. It makes searching really easy. We could find out if they have a book that could help us. And if you find a book that fits our criteria, then write down the number so that I can go and pick it up during my lunch break. Oh my gosh. What kind of mission is this? Sure, I don't mind doing that. <laughs> okay. Just like I said, go to the page, type in the keyword you are searching for. And then send me the book number so that I can go and pick it up. I'll see what I can do. I believe in you. Here is the link. Um, searching really easy. Wait, can I go back? Oh. Legends. Should I say? Oh god. Legends. Is this the one? Three nine eight one four. Or how about the man without a face? <laughs> Oh, it's not the same? Um, maybe I'll go with this one. 39814. 39814. There you go. Wow. She went online right away. Both of them, honestly. You are welcome. I hope you can find what you are trying to search for. Well, that's cool. Now I can go and pick up the book during my break later. Okay. Okay, going back again with the mini games in order for us to continue the story. So I will cut this part right here. It's been like a long conversations that we've had with these people. And they kept on adding many characters or like more characters. So it's kind of hard to keep up who's who, you know, like earlier I was like, oh, who, who is Jesse again? Who's Cleo? Like I kind of felt confused about who's who, but seeing their photos getting updated like helps a lot because I just forget their, I just, I just forget them, you know, <laughs> anyway, I will definitely get into the mini games before i record another part of this so stay tuned for more of this craziness